EA Sports. It's in the game. EA Sports. It's in the game. NASCAR Thunder 2004. Welcome once again to Martinsville, Virginia. MRN is proud to present live coverage of today's Martinsville 500. And Barney, this is one of those tracks where the term Rubbins Racing says it all. Joe, I don't think there'll be a single car here at the end that doesn't have some damage. Although oftentimes a guy who can manage to stay out of trouble all race long might get a ticket to Victory Lane for his effort. We'll see if that holds true when this one is all over. Brett Bodine hasn't made much of a move in the points so far. Well, there's always going to be someone who has to fill in the bottom of the points list. Of course, none of these guys want to ever see their name there. Sometimes it's just not your season to shine. 
the America Online Chevrolet really needs a good finish in this race. He's got a long way to go on the points list. And, of course, nobody wants to be on the bottom of that points list. He'll have to work extra hard to pick up spots. Not an easy task to dig yourself out of a hole in this series. The 56 car just couldn't get up to speed in qualifying this week. You know, I spoke with the guys from that team in the garage this morning, and they said they tried something a little different in qualifying this week. They learned their lesson, though. Stick with what works, and if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Take a look at the starting lineup. Starting out front are the two car and the Rubbermaid Sharpie Ford. Starting in row two will be the singular wireless Chevrolet and the GM Goodrich Chevrolet. In row three are the Tide Pontiac and the 18 car. Dale Jarrett, the NASCAR Winston Cup points leader, will start towards the front. Starting from row 7 will be the DuPont Chevrolet and the Lowe Chevrolet. Caution is out! 
trouble on the racetrack has put us under this yellow flag condition. The field races back to the line.